Hello everyone and welcome to IMRT Reviews. IMRT and today we're doing a very big video. Why you ask? Because I'm going to be showing you my entire Blu-ray collection and I'm excited to show you all of my movies, my entire collection accumulated over the years and I'm excited to talk about some movies. But first, I've got a channel upgrade. I have an intro for my video. So, RT... Roll it. So yeah, that is the new intro for my videos. I hope you like it. It is here to stay. Just a small little upgrade. But let's get straight into this video. I want to say now that they're not all Blu-rays. I say they're about 90% Blu-rays. The others will be 4K and DVDs. I have DVDs where I'm yet to upgrade them or they are not available in Blu-rays. You know, some small movies in here that don't have Blu-ray releases yet. or well, they may never have. Who knows? But uh, let's get straight into it. Just quickly before I start off, I'm going to quickly say that I'm going to try and breeze through these. I'm going to say little bits about films I like in particular, but I'm mainly just going to be saying whatever film and then just putting it down. Okay, so let's start. We've got... 127 hours, which is on DVD. I'm yet to buy it on Blu-ray, but I will be very, very soon. We've got a very good one next. We've got 300, the collector's edition on 4K, which I did an unboxing on of on the channel. So if you want to check that out, check it out. 300, Rise of an Empire on DVD. Going to buy it on Blu-ray at some point. About time. The Accountant. Very cool movie. Got John Burnfall in it, my favourite actor. And uh, then we've got the big tower of Blu-rays here. Ad Astra. And I do keep my Blu-rays sealed until I need to watch them. But a lot of the ones that are sealed I have seen in cinema or, you know, on Netflix or something. Aeon Flux. American Hustle. One of my favourites, American Psycho which I did a Masterpiece Collection review of on the channel. Check that one out. And I've got it on 4K. American Sniper. A Monster Cause, a very, very sad movie. Annihilation, apparently a weird movie that I'm yet to watch. Got some good reviews though, I believe. A Quiet Place, a film I'm not actually that much of a fan of. Controversial, I know. Then we got Argo. Yet to see this one. Don't know why I once sealed it. Uh, Aristocats. Disney films at the moment are very cheap due to Disney Plus. Got this for like five pound. Very happy. Uh, Arrival. Denis Villeneuve. Can't go wrong. A Simple Favor. Assassin's Creed. A Star is Born, Encore Edition. No idea what that means. Probably some extra songs, I imagine. Not sure. Atlantis, another one I've got for cheap because of Disney+. Plus. Thank you, Disney+. Plus. Oh, God, film started sliding. Atomic Blonde, a film that should have been a lot better than it was. Avatar Collector's Edition, which I hope they release on 4K soon. Uh, Bad Times at the El Royale. Need to watch this one. Beauty and the Beast. I apologise. <laughs> uh, beautiful Creatures. Begin again on DVD. You have to find this with, as a good deal on Blu-ray. The Belco Experiment, written by James Gunn, but I was actually pretty disappointed in this one, which is uh, rare for me with uh, James Gunn. The BFG. Steven Spielberg's one. Uh, Big Bang Theory, seasons 1 to 9. I had to go without internet for a couple of weeks, so I bought that. Big Bang Theory, season 11. Get to buy the other ones. Christopher Robin. This Christmas. Captain Phillips. Brothers Grimm. Brigsby Bear, which I had to buy one from Netherlands, a copy of from the Netherlands because it wasn't available in the UK. Might be now, who knows? Uh, Brawl in Cell Block 99. 
two pound in HMV. Boy, directed by Taika Waititi on DVD, not available on Blu-ray yet. Hope it is. I love that film. I just love Taika Waititi. Jason Bourne. I'm gonna be real. I haven't watched any of the Bourne movies yet, but I've got the entire collection, so I will be watching them soon. Please don't hate me. Blue Valentine. It's quite a sad movie. Don't watch it on Valentine's Day. Black Swan. Black Hawk Down. I love this movie. And Birdman. Now this movie is fantastic and very deserved of Best Picture. So that's row one. Let's move on to row two. You can see where I've emptied the row behind me. It just looks it looks really sad. Alright, so Cinderella, the live action one, which I'm a big fan of. Uh, Cloud Atlas, a film that I'm yet to see. Uh, Coco, another film I'm yet to see, but heard very good things about. Uh, the Conjuring 1 on 2 on DVD, need to upgrade them. Uh, Constantine, very underrated movie. It's a lot of fun. Uh, this is going to hurt your eyes. Coraline, oh wait, it looks fine on video. It's like, it's like a holographic one. Um, that film is terrifying. Probably the scariest movie on the planet. We have The Cornetto Trilogy. Some of the best movies ever made. Uh, we have Corpse Bride. Crazy Stupid Love. Now we move on to the Leaning Tower of Blu-rays. Uh, Crimson Peak. I bought this because I wanted to watch all of Guillermo del Toro's movies. Uh, Creed. Creed 2, epic movie. Dallas Buyers Club, it took me ages to watch this one. I was silly, this film's incredible. You can't see Jared Leto on screen, it's incredible. Dances with Wolves, which is like £25 on Blu-ray. It needs to come down in price. Uh, got Dazed and Confused. Alright, alright, alright. Matthew Martin, hey? Uh, everybody, no, oh, not everybody wants one. Some. I think about days and confused. Dead Poet Society. Demolition. Jake Gyllenhaal. I had to buy a French copy of this one because it wasn't in the UK. So happy I did. I really wanted to watch that film. It's such a good film. Den of Thieves was like two pound on Amazon. Just can't say no to that. Uh, the Departed. The Disaster Artist. Great movie. Disturbia. I need to buy it on Blu-ray. This film is fantastic. Shia LaBeouf is a great actor. Django Unchained. Doctor Sleep. Doctor Who, the Christmas collection. Uh, Doctor Who, the Day of the Doctor. Very good one. Big Doctor Who fan. I uh, got Doctor Who the East special, got Lee Evans in that one. I uh, got Dorian Gray, bought this because Ben Barnes is in it. I uh, got Dirty Dancing, 30th anniversary, bought that for my mum. Stays in my collection though. That's how it is. Uh, Drive, Drop Dead Fred, Stop Face, Dunkirk, saw this three times at the cinema. Blew my mind. You have to watch that at the cinema, though. It's just, oh. Eagle vs. Shark, another Taika Waititi movie that's only been released on DVD. This one I'm yet to see. It's the last one in his filmography that I need to see. Live, Die, Repeat, or Edge of Tomorrow, depending on when you saw the film. Changes the title a lot. Entourage movie, a show. This was once. Well, it's a show, and this was, and uh, they got a movie. The show is fantastic. I need to re-watch it. Uh, then we've got Enemy. You need to watch this. Denis Villeneuve, I believe, directed it. I think so. We've got to keep going. I'm pretty sure we did. Everybody Wants Some, which is the sequel or prequel to Dazed and Confused. Evolution, starring my other favourite actor of all time, David Duchovny. Isn't available on Blu-ray. Big sad. The Expendables trilogy. This was like £8. I'll, I'll buy the Expendables trilogy for £8. 
We've got a special one next. Here's Moosey. The Fanatic. The Fanatic. John Travolta loses his mind. Filled of dreams. Need to buy it on Blu-ray. But if you build it, they will come. The Fifth Element on 4K. I've never watched the movie, but it looked really good on 4K. Like, the transfer looked sensational, and I've heard it's good, so I can't wait to watch that. And then Finding Nemo and Finding Dory. 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney. There we go. The Fly, which I'm extremely excited to watch because I'm a massive fan of uh, uh, Jeff Goldblum. So, well, that's the second row. Let's go on to the third. I've got so many rows of movies, I've just realised how much of a mammoth video this is going to be, so please, please leave, leave a like if you made it this far. This is a, a big video for me. So, next up we have The Forest, the first movie I saw at my local cinema. We got Forever Love, uh, Forrest Gump, Fury, got John Burnfall in it, uh, Future World. We've got a big one next. It is All of Friends. Uh, I bought it and then it was all put on Netflix. Felt great. Really did. Now, I'm going to expose myself to be a fan of a franchise that is not completely loved, okay? So please, please don't judge me. Frozen. Please, just don't judge me, okay? Frozen 2. Olaf's Frozen Adventure. Please, stop judging me. I can feel it. I can feel it through the camera. And Frozen Fever. I'm sorry. I'm a big Frozen fan, okay? The music's so goddamn good. And everything else. I don't care if Frozen 2 kind of sucked. I still love it. Uh, then we've got Full Metal Jacket on DVD. Let's just move past Frozen, people. Come on. Uh, Footloose and Flashdance. Uh, then we got Gangster Squad. Need to rewatch that. Get out. Wait, get out. There we go. That's the only way to say this movie title. Ghost Rider. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Because I went to start watching all the David Fincher's movies. Glass, which I've recently found out isn't rated very highly. I like it a lot. Godzilla, King of the Monsters. I don't mind it because King Ghidorah is awesome. Going in style. £2 on Amazon. Probably never going to watch it, but it's in my collection because it was £2. Gone Girl. The weirdest DVD I own. Like, what is that case? Uh, good morning, Vietnam. That was a terrible impression, but we're going with it. That's £3 on Amazon. Great deal. Grand Budapest Hotel. And I bought it and I recently found out there's a Criterion uh, edition of it. Which I'm going to have to buy. Gravity. Great movie. Love Gravity. Wish I'd seen it in the cinema. Grease. 40th anniversary edition. Hacksaw Ridge. I wasn't a fan of this movie. Maybe I'll watch it again and like it a lot more. I wasn't a fan on first viewing. Dun, 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 dun. Halloween. So good. So, so good. The newest Halloween. I really liked it. Really, really excited for Halloween Kills. Happy Gilmore. Uh, happy Thank You More, please. Now, I own this because it's got Josh Radnor in it and he directed it. And my favourite show is How I Met Your Mother. So, whatever he's starting and directed... I will be there for Ted Mosby. Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters. Actually a very enjoyable movie. Hangover Part 1 and 2. I don't have number 3. That one is not very good in my opinion. The Hateful Eight. Very cool movie. Hellboy 1. This is the start of my Guillermo del Toro watch. Hellboy 2. Need to watch that one next. I've seen it before but I just can't really remember it. Hell or High Water. Her. Oh, good one next. Hereditary Steelbook Edition. Now, uh, upside down. Hereditary, great horror movie. 
if you haven't seen it and you like horror, check it out. So, so good. Hotel Transylvania free film collection. So good. They're so, so underrated. Now we get to my favorite uh, animated movie, like franchise, Hat Train Dragon. Man, those films. Probably this is probably my favorite one, Hat Train Dragon too. So so good. It's really annoying when we get the mic. This way, this way. There we go. A bit more centered. Hat Train Dragon Three. Went to see that one in the cinema by myself because nobody wanted to see it with me. Then we got Homefront, James Franco versus Jason Statham. And now we've got a really good movie, Hugo. If you haven't seen it, watch it. It's Martin Scorsese at his best. It won five Oscars, people. Really good movie. So let's move on to row number four. I feel like the one comment on this video is going to be about my Frozen collection, and I'm here for that. I don't mind it. Stop judging me, people. You know you love Frozen too. Let it go. I know everyone hates the song. I apologize. All right, The Imitation Game, very good movie. Inception, uh, Indiana Jones, I now want them on 4K. We've got Inglorious. I'd say hopefully showing this doesn't get me demonetized, but I'm not monetized anyway, so it doesn't matter. Gorlami. Insomnia, this is an Italian copy because I couldn't find it in the UK. Cost me 16 pound on eBay. But I have every single Christopher Nolan film, so now I feel like a proper movie fan. Interstellar. Ooh. All right, all right, all right. Into the Wild. Shout out Kenoda. It's his favorite movie. Into the Woods. I immediately knew the person who did the music for that movie did the swinging top music as well. It's got the same beats. I just immediately knew. I was like, well, I've watched too many movies at that point. Uh, the Interview, still book, very, very funny. Isle of Dogs, awesome movie. Uh, Inside Lewin Davis, I feel I really need to see. Why? It's got a cat. It's got a cat in the front, and I'm a cat person. I've got four cats. Jackie Brown. The Daniel Craig Collection. And then I'm going to have one extra movie here. And that's going to be very annoying. God damn, no to die, no time to die, no to die. <laughs> Jaws. Uh, Jesus Christ Superstar. Got my favourite song of all time in that movie. John Wick. John Wick 2. Jojo Rabbit. Such a good movie. The Judge. Jungle Book, epic movie. That's the live action one. I'm not really a fan of the animated one. Jurassic Park collection, that also includes Jurassic World. I think I'm going to refuse to buy Jurassic World 2 unless it's going to bug me so much that I don't have the collection. I just really didn't like Jurassic World 2. Especially the scene where, like, the, I'm actually, no, I'm not going to spoil it. I didn't like it. Kangaroo Jack. Now, me and Kenoda, who I shouted out earlier, watched this on New Year's Eve many years ago. And what a time it was. Great movie. Kick. There you go. Kick. Two. I wonder how long I can go without swearing on this channel. We'll see. Kill Bill 1 and 2. I don't know. I, I like... Probably my favourite Tarantino movies. No, no, no. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. That's my favourite one. Which is also an unpopular opinion. Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Great movie, Robert Downey Jr. and Val Kilmer, directed by Shane Black. Kingsman 1 and 2. Well, the light does not like this one. Kingsman 2 was a little bit disappointing, but it was still entertaining. King King Kong. Kong Skull Island and Godzilla in that one. Kung Fu Panda. I can't find two or three to save my life. Lady Bird. Great movie. La La Land on 4K. One of my favourite movies of all time. La La Land Steelbook. I mean, just look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. The Lego Batman. 
The Lego Movie. I love the Lego franchise, people. The Lego Movie is fantastic. Everything is awesome. I'm just singing all the annoying songs today. Lego Movie 2. Sorry, the Lego Movie, the second part. The Lego Ninjago Movie, which nobody went to see. I wish they did, it was actually very enjoyable. Le Mans 66. I have yet to watch this at home. I watched it at the cinema. It was so good, but like you got the cinema system and everything there. I just don't know if it'll be the same at home, you know? The, are, are the engines going to be as intense, you know? Uh, Liberal Arts, another Josh Radnor directed and starring, starred in movie. Got support Ted Mosby. Life of Pi, which my friend recommended to me. I bought, and I still haven't watched it. I'm sorry if you're watching, you're probably not. The Lighthouse. What, what, what? I, I'm literally done this video just so I can quote movies. And Limitless. I don't need to buy a Blu-ray. Very good movie. So that is row four. Let's go on to five. And as you can see, I am wearing Sidemen clothing. So, you know, KSI, Zerka, if you're watching. And want to hit me up for a collab. IMRT reviews on Instagram. Because they're definitely watching. Let's crack on. So we have Little Women. Film that's apparently really good, and I really want to see it, so I don't know why I haven't watched it yet. Lone Survivor, Looper, Ryan Johnson, uh, Love Actually, great Christmas movie, Love and Other Drugs. Bought this in HM HMV, not HM, HMV in London for like £2. Uh, the Lucky One, needs to buy that on Blu ray. Mad Max Fury Road on 4K. Because Mad Max Fury Road, the best action movie of all time? I think so. Mad Max Fury Road on Blu-ray. The Muppets Christmas Carol, probably my favourite Christmas movie. The Magic Roundabout, which apparently scares some people. But how can you be scared of, like, doodles? It's played by Robbie Williams. Mamma Mia. One and two. The Magnificent Seven. Man Up. Looks like a rom-com with Simon Pegg. £2 on Amazon. Bought it. Uh, the Man with the No Name Trilogy. Need to watch my classic westerns. I've never watched them. Bought it. Yet to watch it. Excited to do so. Manchester by the Sea. Very emotional movie. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Casey Affleck. 100% deserve the Oscar for that one. Mary Poppins. You need to watch the new one on that. I haven't got the old one. Should buy it. Uh, Mary Mary Magdalene. That's one of my mom's movies in my collection. Uh, Marriage Story Criterion Collection. Great movie. I love it so much. Adam Driver and Scarlett Johansson just disappear on screen. They're fantastic in the movie. Memento. Why am I doing this video? Have you seen the movie? You'll you'll get that. Why am I doing this? <laughs> he has memory loss, so... There you go. Clearing up the joke. Mile 22. Not a lot of people liked it. I really liked it. There's like one really terrible action scene, which I can understand why people didn't like, but the rest of it's really good. Had my heart beating the entire time. Much Ado About Nothing. The Nice Guys. Epic, epic movie. Nightcrawler, which I need to buy on Blu-ray. Uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas. What's this? Nocturnal Animals. The Notebook. I like rom-coms, people. Oh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. This film is epic. And the ending made me laugh so much in the cinema. Oz the Great and Powerful. Sa I didn't know Sam Raimi directed this. And I found out and I was like, what? Pacific Rim on Blu-ray. Pacific Rim on 4K. Steelbook. That started off the Guillermo del Toro addiction. And, yeah, Pacific Rim is just one of the most epic films you could ever watch. Paddington 1 and 2. I love these movies so much. You don't actually need to say anything else other than that. Pain and Gain. Passengers. 
Patriots Day. Parasite, if you haven't seen it, watch it. Super, super good. Paul, Seth Rogen, Nick Frost, Simon Pegg. Can you go wrong? The answer to that is no. Very funny movie. Perks Being a Wallflower, fantastic film. The Phantom of the Opera is here in DVD form. I can't stop singing today. The Pianist. Pineapple Express. I thought hurricane season was over. Pirates of the Caribbean 1. Pirates of the Caribbean 2. Pirates of the Caribbean 3. At World's End. And I don't own 4 or 5 because I don't like either of them. Maybe I'll like 6 if there's going to be one. Who knows? And then Premonition to finish off row 5. So, let's get on to row 6. Starting row 6, we have The Prestige. Christopher Nolan, one of my favourites of his. I mean, I like all of his movies, but it's one of my particular favourites. Prisoners, which I will be doing a masterpiece collection video of eventually. Love this movie. Uh, P.S. I love you. So sad. So sad. Uh, Public Enemies. I don't even remember buying this movie. But I own it. Uh, Pulp Fiction on DVD. Need to buy it on Blu-ray. But I'm not the biggest fan of the movie. But I haven't given it a second watch yet. Controversial, I know. I apologise. The Punisher on DVD. The Punisher is my favourite comic book character. And the show is one of my favourites of all time. The Raid 1 and 2. Need to watch these. Apparently the action is incredible. Rendition, which I've still got the price tag on. £3 down from 8 You can't say no to that. The Revenant. Leonardo DiCaprio eats a salmon. Uh, Rock of Ages. Really good music in that. Uh, I thought this was a Blu-ray set. Actually a DVD set. Uh, Rocky Balboa. In Undisputed Collection. Uh, next we have Brie Larson's Room. Oh, there you go. What? Now we have the most expensive Blu-ray in my collection. By far. It's that and La La Land still book. The Room. Signed by Tommy Wiseau and Greg Sestero. One of my prized possessions. The Room. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> that laugh is on point, people. All right. Rush. Great movie. I'm really need to get that one on Blu-ray. Sausage Party. Fan is really, really funny. So, so good watching it in the cinema. A lot of people didn't laugh in the cinema, though. And I was just sitting there waiting myself. Scarface. Need to watch that. My mom's been trying to get me to watch it for years. Scott Pilgrim. Recently released 4K. I want to buy that, but so good. Searching. Need to watch this. Apparently it's really, really good, and Mr. Sulu from Star, Star Trek is in it, and I love him, so. Seven, great movie. What's in the box, man? I literally just done this to quote movies. Uh, next we have Shadow. Watch this, because Chris Stuckman reviewed it. Stunning cinematography, and the imagery and scene is oh, really, really good movie. Shattered Glass. Bought this because apparently Hayden Christensen, Anakin Skywalker, was really good in it. And I want to watch him act really, really well. Because I love Anakin Skywalker, so I bought that movie. Only available on DVD. Dun, 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 dun. The Shining. Here's Johnny. Sherlock Holmes 1 and 2. Silence. Martin Scorsese. Need to watch this one. Silver Linings Playbook. Amazing film. One of my favourites. I haven't watched it on Blu-ray yet, though. I watched the DVD so many times. Simpsons movie. Dull. That was terrible. <laughs> uh, Sin City 1 and 2. Really, really cool movie is the way they're done. Sinister. Really scary movie. Source Code. Directed by Duncan Jones. Love him. Bought it. Two pound. No, it was one pound ninety. In fact, I remember. I remember the cheap deals because they're the ones that make me happy. 
Uh, Southpaw, Jake Gyllenhaal with Jake Gyllenhaal. Split. A film that I didn't like that much the first time round. I liked it a lot more the second time round. Spring Breakers. It's so bad it's good. Super bad. I am McLovin. Shutter Island. Need to give this a second watch. I'm not sure about it. Swiss Army Man. Epic movie. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Very unique. Sweeney Todd. Tangled. My favourite Disney princess movie. Wait for this to go down in price for such a long time. Disney Plus comes out. What do you know? Goes down in price. My favourite Disney movie. Tarzan. You'll be in my heart. Are you sure this border is sanitary? Tenet. Apparently some people don't like this movie. Don't know why. It's epic. Titanic. Just bought it because you should own Titanic. You know. Guilty pleasure movie here. Lara Croft's Tomb Raider. So good. Uh, they've got the new Tomb Raider, which I'm yet to watch. Just want to quickly throw out Uncharted. Should have been given to Nathan Fillion. Nathan Drake is Nathan Fillion. I'll still watch it. I don't mind Tom Holland, but Nathan Fillion should have got the role. Train to Busan, which I still need to watch. Train Spotting, which I didn't like. And one of my other favourite Disney movies of all time, Treasure Planet. And that is row 6, I believe. So let's move on to row 7. So this is the last row of movies that are in alphabetical order. After this, we've got sci-fi movies, Marvel movies, and DC movies. So we've got that to look forward to, but let's crack on. This is the end. Great comedy. Love it so much. Tropic Thunder. Troy which I really need to rewatch. I love Brad, Brad Pitt in this movie. So good. Tron, the two movie collection. And yet to see number one. Don't know if I'll ever watch it. It kind of looks really dated. If you think I should watch it, let me know down in the comments below if you're still watching. I hope you are. Please, please still be watching. Toy Story 1. Toy Story 2. Surprise, surprise. Toy Story 3, and my favourite one, Toy Story 4, big fan of this movie, very happy I saw it at the cinema, had a cracking time, next we have Unbroken, then Unbreakable, which I want to give a rewatch, wasn't the biggest fan of it the first time round, but it's one of M. Night Shyamalan's most highly rated movies, and I like M. Night Shyamalan a lot, always makes me want to talk about movies, M. Night, the Underworld Quadrilogy, uh, really like 1, 2, and 3. Haven't seen 4 or 5. Speaking of 5, Underworld 5, Blood Wars. I think he went straight to Blu-ray, a DVD in the UK. I didn't see it in the cinema anywhere. Uh, Under the Skin, apparently very weird. Up, Heartbreak in the opening act of this movie. Heartbreak. A squirrel! <laughs> uh, us... Jordan Peele, can't wait to see what he does next. Unbelievable director. V for Vendetta, yet to watch this one. Looks really good. Can't wait to watch it. The Visit, more Shyamalan. Haven't watched this one yet. Apparently it's very uneasy, which I'm a massive fan of, so gotta check that one out. The Wall, was one pound something on Amazon. No idea what it's about. It's got Aaron Taylor Johnson, Quicksilver and Age of Ultron, and John Cena in it, and... Might be good. It's one pound something. I'll watch it someday. Warrior. My man Zack Snyder. Watchman Director's Cut. What We Do in the Shadows. There is a masterpiece collection review of this on my channel. Check it out. I love that film so much. One of my favourites. When Harry Met Sally. One of my favourite rom-coms. Whiplash. That's not quite my tempo. Wind River was only £3 in HMV. Apparently incredible. Can't wait to watch that one. The Witch, really, really good horror movie. Lots, lots of good movies in this section. The Wizard of Oz in 4K. Bought this for my mum. We watched it at Mother's Day or her birthday. Can't remember. The Wolf of Wall Street. One of the funniest scenes ever with Leonardo DiCaprio taking the drug. Literally, I fell on the floor. I was laughing that much. Wasn't in the cinema, I was at home. But I was laughing a lot. World War Z. Can't go wrong with a zombie movie. Zombies are just fun. 
The X-Files, I'm a massive X-Files fan. I really want to get the entire series on Blu-ray. Uh, the X-Files, I want to believe. Scully, I want to believe. He doesn't say that, I don't think. He's going to say it anyway. X-Files Season 11. Doesn't come in the complete collection. And it was only like £9. Yesterday, so this man here used to be in, 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 in EastEnders. I said he's going to have a bright future. He's in Yesterday and he's in a Christopher Nolan movie. I have an eye for talent. Year One, great movie. Your Highness, no one likes it. I love it. I just love Danny McBride. You Were Never Really Here, great Joaquin Phoenix movie. Very disturbing. Check it out. Zodiac, great David Fincher movie. Jake Hall once again. Just not in bad movies, is he? Zombieland 1. Zombieland 2, love both of them. And finally, for the alphabetical section, Zootropolis or Zootopia. Love this movie, so, so good. Recently rewatched it. Didn't uh, get worse on second viewing, got better. Massive fan. So, let's get into the sci fi section, which is right there. Let's get into it. So, yeah, like I said, this has got no alphabetical order to it whatsoever. This is mainly sci fi movies for this row. So. Let's get into it. We have Star Wars A New Hope, Star Wars Empire Strikes Back, these are all on Blu-ray, Star Wars The Return of the Jedi, and then we have Star Wars The Prequels Collection, I really want to get Revenge of the Sith on 4K, I love Revenge of the Sith, it's either that or Empire Strikes Back is my favourite, then we've got The Force Awakens Light Side Edition, the Force Awakens Dark Side Edition. They literally got me to buy two different plane covers. Incredible. What can I say? I'm a collector. Uh, Star Wars Last Jedi Light Side Edition. And Dark Side Edition. They put some effort into those ones. Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker Light Side Edition. Star Wars The Rise of uh, Skywalker Dark Side Edition. Look, I had to buy both, okay? Rogue One. This is a limited edition Amazon uh, sleeve, I believe. Solo, massively underrated. Big fan of Solo. Hope he gets it as a show. That'd be pretty cool. Star Trek trilogy. I love Star Trek. Might have to review all three at some point. Love them so much. Next up, Firefly. I love Firefly. My favourite sci-fi show, oh, not show, my favourite sci-fi movie of all time, Serenity, got the limited edition cover there. Nathan Fillion, I love Nathan Fillion. Blade Runner, The Final Cut, it's a limited edition sleeve. My mum got me that for Christmas, thanks mum. Uh, Blade Runner, The Final Cut, it's just a normal version. Blade Runner 2049, epic movie. Ghost in the Shell. I love this movie. So good. Ghost in the Shell, the animated one. Watch the first one. Epic. Haven't watched the second one yet. Going to at some point soon. Have good things. The Terminator quadrilogy. So not number five or Dark Fate. Um, I've watched number one and two. I've watched five. I've watched six. Haven't watched three or four. Yeah, so I've watched them completely out of order. Um... I want to watch 3 and 4 soon. I haven't heard the best things about them. Did not like 5 at all. Why well, don't own it? Didn't mind 6. It was enjoyable. 1 and 2, obviously, epic. Dread. This Blu-ray transfer is not very good. But the film itself is incredible. Lots of fun. Uh, Predator, free film collection. Alien, I'm a massive, massive, massive fan of Alien. Uh, that's a limited edition sleeve. And I've got the five film collection. Huge fan of Prometheus. Probably going to do a review of that at some point as well. Alien Covenant. Alien vs. Predator. The Matrix Trilogy. Ready Player One. Too many references in this film. I saw Halo on the big screen, blew my mind. 
Um, Minority Report, need to watch this one. Power Rangers, epic movie, really underrated. Detective Pikachu, just a lot of fun. Plus, Pikachu's so adorable. Transformers, the animated movie, on DVD. I've pre-ordered the 4K Steelbook Collector's Edition one. That's arriving in uh, August, October, and I will be doing an unboxing of it on the channel. Transformers free movie set. I actually looked out for this one because I don't like 4 or 5, and I bought this one instead. And I think it was more expensive than 4 or 5, but I really don't want to own them. Unless one day I, my, you know, my collection needs to, need to complete it, maybe that will itch, we'll, you know, win. But for now, I'm happy with the free movie set. I've got Bumblebee as well, but that is uh, in my little Blu-ray haul section, and I need to put them as part of the, uh, the collection. Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. War for the Planet of the Apes. One of the most perfect trilogies there is. Love every single one of those movies. So, next we have the Marvel section. So this is the entire row on my DVD stands dedicated to Marvel movies. So let's get into it. We got The Wolverine. Epic movie. Love it so much. Ending let it down, it lets it down a little bit, but up until then, superb. Then we got Logan. So good. So, so, so good. Then we got Deadpool, which I saw twice at the cinema. Very, very funny. I don't often laugh aloud in the cinema. That made me laugh out loud quite a lot. Deadpool 2. Uh, X-Men Complete Collection. This has got the trilogy or Origins Wolverine, First Class, The Wolverine, Days of Future Past. It was like £3. Sure. Um, first Class, Days of Future Past, Apocalypse, Dark Phoenix, uh, not very good, but the scene where she forces Charles to walk up the stairs, that was really scary. Really scary. Uh, Spider-Man Trilogy and the Amazing Man, uh, Spider-Man 1 and 2, didn't know it came with Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2, just thought it was the trilogy. Um, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Uh, I realised I had Blu-rays dotted around in my room, so I just quickly grabbed this one. Black Panther, I watched that the other day. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man 1. The Amazing Spider-Man 2, which has an amazing case. Just look at that. Wow. Uh, Venom. Should have been R-rated. Wasn't the biggest fan. Well, Woody Harrelson's in the next one. Oh, I love Woody Harrelson, though. Daredevil Season 1. Daredevil Season 2. If anyone knows if The Punisher will ever come out, on physical disc in the UK, please let me know. I really want to buy it. Doesn't matter if it's on Blu-ray or DVD. The Incredible Hulk on DVD. Uh, the Iron Man collection. Love all the Iron Man movies, especially number three. I think it's very underappreciated. Cats America trilogy, one of my favorites of all time. Super, super good. Spider-Man Homecoming. Michael Keaton steals the show in that movie in my opinion Spider-Man Far From Home once again villain was spectacular Jake Gyllenhaal what a man Ant-Man Ant-Man and the Wasp Ant-Man and the Wasp really good Doctor Strange can't wait for number 2 directed by Sam Raimi Thor Trilogy got me uh, onto the Taika Waititi train Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and 2. What 2 is one of my favourite movies of all time. Which I've done a Masterpiece Collection review on on the channel. Check it out. Avengers Assemble. Avengers Age of Ultron. Avengers Infinity War. Look at that cover. And what a movie. Can't wait to talk about that one on the channel in a review someday. And Avengers Endgame. We're in the end game now. So that is my Marvel row. Let's move on to... It's kind of like half DC, half fantasy. And there's like three films that I found dotted around. So I'll tack them on to the end. 
Okay, this is the start of the final row. If you have made it this far into the video, please let me know down in the comments below. I really, really, really appreciate you. And knowing that you spent all this time watching me talk about movies, I really appreciate that. That is epic, and I can't thank you enough. So, starting off with Batman versus the Ninja Turtles. What a movie. Had a lot of fun with that one. Just one of the most random things I've ever seen. And I loved it. Uh, Batman, Soul of the Dragon. Can't wait to watch that one. Because I really liked the next one. Batman Ninja. I really like how they just take Batman into these weird places. And it's very enjoyable to watch. Uh, Batman, The Dark Knight Returns Part 2. Batman, The Dark Knight Returns Part 1. The Dark Knight Rises. The Dark Knight. I can't believe I looked at that film and was like, what's this? The Dark Knight. Why so serious? Sorry, I had to. Steelbook. Batman Begins. Uh, Joker on 4K. Stunning. Stunning on 4K. It really is. Is that out of order? Death of Superman, that should have been with the animated movies. Uh, Wonder Woman, book edition. Love Wonder Woman so much. No Man's Land scene. <sighs> what a scene. Tears in my eyes. Uh, Justice League. Zack Snyder's Justice League. Look at that still book, 4K. Damn. I'm just keeping this one for history, okay? But this this is... <sighs> Sorry, just one more. Ooh. What a movie, am I right? Am I right? Uh, Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice Ultimate Edition. Tell me, do you bleed? You will. Epic line. Man of Steel. I love this movie so much. Soundtrack, one of my favourites of all time. Birds of Prey, very, very underrated. Had so much fun with that movie. Uh, Suicide Squad Extended Cut. Meh. Meh. Not terrible. Not good either. Shazam! A lot of fun with that one. Aquaman. Uh, now we got The Hobbit Trilogy. Now, the first Blu-rays I ever bought, and these were meant to be the only ones, Lord of the Rings trilogy. £12 on Amazon. Bought with Amazon vouchers. Fantastic Beast 1. Fun movie. Fantastic Beast 2. Not so fun movie. Harry Potter. One of my, it's probably my favourite franchise. I love all the movies so, so much. Unbelievable. Warcraft, directed by Duncan Jones. As I said earlier, I love him. And I like this movie a lot. It's flawed, but it's a lot of fun. And I'm a big fan of the Warcraft world. A couple of ones that I forgot. we got the Scream Trilogy. The Martian. And Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. There's uh, some other ones yeah, underneath my desk. They were in the Blu-ray hall, hashtag 2. So if you want to see those ones, check out that review, uh, video. But that is it. That is my entire Blu-ray collection. I do have some anime. But that is literally 28 DVDs of Naruto. Um, I'm not going to put that on and just say Naruto Volume 27. You know, that's going to be boring. But, um, yeah, that's my entire Blu-ray collection. Let me know down in the comments below if you think it's a big collection. Let me know how many movies you've got and if you're a collector yourself and what your prized movie is. I might, I'd say mine's probably my Zack Snyder's Justice League or uh, my The Room, so I'd buy Tommy Wiseau and Greg Sestero. But, yeah, I'm a massive movie fan, a massive movie collector, and... You know, if you want to collect something because it makes you happy and people say, no, don't do it, it's a waste of money, don't listen to them. If it makes you happy, buy it and hold it in your hands. Love it. 
I love collecting movies. It's one of my favourite things, and I will not stop until I've got no more room left. And that's it. If you did like this video, please leave it a like, and let me know down in the comments below if you stayed this long. Please do, because I really, really appreciate you. Please click subscribe, and I will see you next time.